Hello, Scorpios. All right, so I already started shuffling um, and got into your energy, but this is going to be for Scorpio, no contact read, the person that Scorpio is thinking about, the person that's on Scorpio's mind. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you guys are doing very well today. Scorpios, this is going to be a general, not a personal read whatsoever. So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't try to make it or force it to resonate with you. You will know when it's your story, when it's your situation. Everything will fit. Everything will align together. Okay, so don't try to force it. If you guys want a personal reading, all the information for that will be in the description box. I do have two packages running for the month of May. 10 minutes for $45, $55 for 15 minutes for the month of May only. All right, so moderators, for those of you who sent me um, a request for an appointment, bear with me because I am um, also doing personals as well and I'm doing schedules for that. So just bear with me. Um, but if I haven't answered you yet, you will be answered very soon. All right. I will be going live tonight as well, you guys. So what I'm going to be doing, Scorpios, is not separate videos. It's just going to be all of you all together in one video. And that's because I'm running late and I don't want to be on here until three o'clock in the morning. So let's just make it all together here. I will be taking questions at the end. All right. And yeah, so let's see what we have. Okay, for now, within your no contact, we this is someone that you're separated from. This is someone that is coming back up within your energy that wants to connect with you. I'm seeing Leo, I'm seeing Virgo, I'm seeing Gemini, I'm seeing Scorpio, Aries. Aries coming out very strongly as well. So the first card I got for you, all right, was the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Magician in the upright, which is very important. I'm also seeing the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for you i'm also getting the strength the tower and also um the judgment so three major arcanas here all together a wonderful um bunch of force of energy this is what i'm seeing a lot of movement here especially within this uh strength okay within this tower and also you know within this judgment there's a lot of um fire elements here for the judgment we have aries then we have libra sharing that then we have Scorpio within the tower and Aries and then we have Leo within the strength um, but we do have Gemini and Virgo here within the magician as well so I'm seeing just a lot of things going on first thing is that power getting back your power this person looks at you as someone that is very powerful someone that that is very positive this is what I'm seeing but for some reason there was some kind of um non-compromise energy that i'm seeing here with the three of pentacles like you weren't getting along this person wanted to do certain things and you weren't into that situation um like you're trying to find out like how do you guys you know can how can you guys fit within this relationship or within each other's lives here but i'm seeing that whatever this is this person still look at you in a lot of positive energy so this is a good thing because all day today i've been getting like this negative energy within the magician in reverse this person looks at you as you're going to be very successful you're going to you know um <laughs> you're going to be manifesting so many good things that's coming into your life this person looks at you as someone that they need to be around this is what i'm seeing someone that makes all the right decisions and moves and i'm also seeing here though the queen of pentacles that something about this energy for you you had to distance yourself because there's something going on where i'm seeing like you had to protect your state of mind you had to protect that positive vibe about you you had to protect that for your family for you know the people that really depends on you because there's going to be some things that you're going to have to decide to do some things that you're going to have to clear up and i'm seeing like you need to be clear-minded to do that and within whatever relationship this was this could have been a friendship that went too far um or you tried something within this friendship and now this is a loss because you're looking at this as a loss um within the three of pentacles i'm also seeing like an energy of not being able to respect each other here okay i'm also seeing angel michael showing up within the strength and the towers in reverse here a lot of fire energy even if scorpio is in the tower with Aries, I just feel like Scorpio can flow back and forth within that element of fire. 
as well okay so there's a lot of fire element here there's a lot of movement there's a lot of power there's a lot of action there's a lot of pride when it comes with power as well a lot of pride energy okay so angel michael is saying to be strong because there's going to be something happening here that you're going to need to have courage about and i feel like there was a separation obviously that is being confirmed but i'm also seeing that there is going to be a coming back together there's going to be a trying to come back together trying to rebuild trying to build on this foundation right and there is a decision that is also made here so this person made a decision to do this so yes 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 uh, i feel like the angels are like being like telling you to be like to prepare because this is happening okay let's see we have the two of pentacles what else we have the three as well tell me more well not the three excuse me the, the ten i lost my mind Ooh, you got another 10. You have two 10s that came out that want you to know that everything is fine. There, there's going to be some trials and tribulations, some letting go or needing to forgive kind of vibe. Closing chapter, closing doors, okay, from the past that mentally and physically armed you. And this is something that is constant right now. And this is something that you're going back and forth with. Ooh, for them to have two here, oh my God, you have been going through a lot. You A lot of disappointments within your life. A lot of disappointments, you guys. It's like a lot of you are also still waiting by the phone for this person. Like you're looking at things that this person is posting, maybe on the internet. You feel like this person backstabbed you or lied to you, betrayed your trust within this 10 i'm also seeing like this person feels the same way about you all right so you have the six here the six of swords you have the chariot and then you also have the king of wands energy wow the wheat the world i can't even show this because i i don't know this is a different deck that i've been using all day i can't find my other one i put it somewhere and i can't find it you guys i don't know where i put it i i don't know it's, i'm sure it's somewhere but this is another deck without the stickers so this is kind of nude but i'm seeing like there's some kind of completion happening here you know i got that with this with this um judgment energy but now i'm getting it too with this world that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting it with this world. Tell me more. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. Hmm. I'm hearing that there's a decision that needs to be made. You have the two of swords plus the two of pentacles that is showing up like a decision has to be made here. Still with this person's energy, I feel like they did backstab you or you backstab them or you both did because I'm seeing like whoever this is for, there is so much trials and tribulation back to back. So much backstab in here. Pain. This was physical for those of you. This was physically f like you guys are fighting each other. This is a toxic relationship here and this is still in the the upright. But the angels are saying like and it's because of some kind of cheating. This could be at work. But the angels are saying like it's going to be OK. I'm also seeing the six the six of wands so you're going to be fine you're going to have that v that success and i feel like scorpio you had this yesterday with that v energy but this is going to be very difficult for you to make that decision but i'm seeing decisions are important here because that also came up within this judgment energy that you need to decide you need to make a decision 
and I'm seeing like a lot of you are going to be moving to somewhere that you love okay and I feel like a lot of you are running away from my Aries Leo or Sag or some cancer energy but I'm also seeing another energy that is running towards a new relationship or making a decision to move on with a new relationship because of someone that disappointed you that was an Aries, Leo, or a Sag energy, masculine in reverse. Someone who had a choice and chose wrong here. This is what I'm getting. Tell me more. Separation confirmed. I'm seeing this Knight of Cups energy, two of uh, cups here. And trying to make something work. New direction. I feel like this is coming from the Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Whew. Yeah, this person wants to come back. This is what I'm seeing. Oh, gosh. I'm getting multiple people here. I'm getting like another force of energy that you are so worried. But again, this is not healthy for you because there is a lot of physical aspects. Like you guys are really just saying things beating up each other doing things of like it's so toxic here and you guys are separating for a reason because the holy spirit wants you to work on yourself okay this is what i'm getting all right tell me more You have the four here you have the seven you have the page of swords okay so i'm just getting like something is going to come in real quick like an idea out of nowhere after these lies it's like this person have everything to say about some force of lies why they're away or why you know you they've been in and out of your life i feel like a lot of you are over this a lot of you want something else here and these lies are coming to the surface. These are coming out and this person is trying to control things. This is what I'm seeing and I'm seeing the, temp, the Empress here. So the messages are coming towards you. I feel like, you know what, this person is still controlling, but you're showing up as the Empress and messages are coming towards you. This could be this person also trying to tell you before this actually blows up in their face because the Seven of Swords is already out. The lies, the deception, the deceit is already out the door. Um, so this is for someone that just, I'm feeling like something recent is happening here, okay? Like this is someone that you were separated from or you're not talking to at the time because you're trying to find out things before talking back to this person or having back this person in your life. But this person, it's like you're getting that space to find out so you can do what you need to do. Um, but I just feel like within this energy, there's a lot of deception on each side. Okay, let me just tap into this person's energy because I feel like I need to just tap in real quick. Okay, I really just need to tap into this no contact energy for this person who's coming out. It's supposed to rain today, but I really did not see no rain today. Or did I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So let's see, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Okay. I keep getting the Empress. Like, you don't need to be with this energy. This is what I'm getting. You don't need to be with this energy. But for some reason, you need to be reminded of that. Like, you're going to be okay. <laughs> Spiritually, mentally, physically. Within this physical life. I think I'm just getting society made you think this way. All right, so tell me about this person. Oh, five of cups already. What's this person's energy towards Scorpio? Well, this person wants Scorpio to know. Obviously, this person is coming out. 
what this person wants Scorpio to know. Tell me more about this energy. All right, so you have the Five of Cups here for your first card from this person's energy. All right, and I feel like this person realized that you're disappointed, you're sad, because they weren't there to do whatever they're supposed to do for you. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing the Nine here, okay? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Judgment. It's like there's a decision that was made within Judgment. I feel like this person is being judged. Okay, there's some kind of karmic energy here for this person's energy. Because they have done so many bad things towards you. And I feel like within this situation, you guys, and this is their energy telling me about you, saying that you're not ready to move on, but you're disappointed, you're sad, because they have even abandoned you here, where you just felt like you were doing things on your own, but you are not at the place where they think that you're going to let them go. So this is them talking to you, and there's a lot of things that have been lost, a lot of independence, a lot of identity as well. I feel like this person has been playing with you, with your self-esteem, your self-value. This is what I'm getting. Aries, Libra, again. All right, this person still wants you with the Nine of Cups. But there was a lot of emotional manipulation. And there was a lot of power energy. So they wanted to take your power, but you still have it. That's the gag, because this is coming up in the upright. This person could have said so many things about your dreams and your goals, like you didn't, you're not going to go anywhere. This is what I am feeling here, but it's just, it's, it's... <laughs> I feel like this person was wasting their time to do that. I'm also getting some shadiness as well. So you were right about the friend that they were hanging with or, you know, what they were doing here. They're saying they're hanging out with friends, but there was some form of deceit. So you're alone because of a friend or a family member. There's also a cycle here that you and this person keeps coming back together because you want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled. You feel like you're fated with each other and you are. But at the same time, sometimes you need space to grow on your own so you can be successful with each other, if that makes sense. Sometimes you have to give each other time and respect. Okay, sometimes we get too clingy and get too codependent within a relationship. Okay, and you can't do that. The angels don't want that. They will pull you guys apart because they're realizing that you're not learning what you're supposed to be learning. The mission is more important. Okay, all right. So, and they're looking out for you. When I say the mission is more important, doesn't mean that they don't care about you. It's your mission, is your higher soul that designed, that chose that mission. So they're looking out for you because they know what's best for your soul, not for the physical body. The physical body wants what it wants because it's hunger's physical energy. Okay, it hunger's physical like touch and you know whatever you want to say about that. You could get into it, but I don't want to get into it. Okay, you um materialistic things okay um things like that like oh gosh you know what the physical body is all about but spiritual aspect it's just things that you really can't see right you have to believe to understand that so the physical aspect is like for your soul sometimes you have everything around you and you're still not happy your soul is still not happy because you're not feeding your soul you're feeding your body if that makes sense um but i'm seeing the devil as well in reverse so this person is definitely someone that has a lot of trials and tribulations with their past situation i feel like they're trying in their own eyes to kind of like 
heal and they, they might just push that in your face because i feel like when i pulled the card scorpio this is for scorpios who have a lot of drama within their lives because of things that happened within their past things that they grew up seeing and they thought that this was okay the violence the stabbing in the back okay the mental abuse the physical abuse the emotional abuse okay and this is like that's the scorpios that i'm pulling up here because this person seems to have the same situation from childhood and they're giving me that energy and then you have angel michael here showing up within the strength you also have the hangman here i get like this person is backing away from this or this person was you know not seen or disappeared because i'm seeing like this happened this emotional or physical distance again happened to quite back um and i'm also seeing like this person is like trying to find out like okay how they can fix this but it's a little bit too late but at the same time within this person's energy you do have angel michael here reminding this person to have courage and to have strength and to make the first move but they're so prideful within the hangman that they're not making the first move even though they want to be with you and want to be very successful here i feel like this person was manipulating you because of their situation um they're coming off as someone that doesn't have any confidence within themselves so tell me more wow the ace of pentacles so you guys lost everything the nine of pentacles the wheel of fortune in reverse a lesson wasn't learned here i'm getting scorpio cancer um what is it oh my god no i'm getting scorpio gemini aquarius taurus and leo major arcana capricorn major arcana aries libra gemini virgo leo pisces wow a lot of major arcana y'all tell me more wow another one taurus there was also some kind of codependency you see what i'm saying within this person's energy i mean they this could be you but because the high front is in reverse but they're saying like this relationship ended because of codependency there is no true identity anymore like they're saying that you lost your way yeah the five of cups you felt very lonely like you needed them to be around this person you know found some kind of fulfillment elsewhere because i just feel like they abandoned you within this five emotionally this person wasn't there for you and then i'm seeing like the nine of pentacles You have the nine here of swords you have the fools you have the six of swords there's no trust and there's a lot of worry tell me more about this nine yeah you fear okay there's a lot of worry here um some of you might be seeing someone else because this is their energy and they're saying the two of pentacles and they're having worry within this nine they're stressed out they have a lot of anxiety here um there is something that needs to be taken care of there's some kind of decision that needs to be taken care of there's some kind of juggling they're saying that they don't trust you or they're proceeding with caution or moving very slowly with a six of swords okay so they're moving towards you very cautiously okay i'm seeing moving towards tell me more about the six of swords holy spirit tell me more about the six of swords wow the star yeah they don't have no faith within this so why are you going back they don't have no faith within the situation it's like really small aquarius energy so tell me more they're trying to figure things out but this person has this tendency with this knight there's some form of jealousy here with this knight um this page of uh swords energy very young energy here coming off very jealous <laughs> oh 
okay this person don't have any form of stability either so money issues are coming up because i'm seeing nine of pentacles the wheel of fortune like this relationship was very unlucky but yet they want a future with you with the four the nine is over there it's like they are not going to meet anyone like you and they understand that tell me more holy spirit wow they look at you as the sun too that's crazy okay empress again <laughs> empress yeah they know that you are it you are it but there's way so many secrets you got a lot of major arcanas coming out here you got pisces plus leo again plus virgo like what so this there's the moon energy here so there's a lot there's a lot of secrets things that that, that are being kept from you within this person's energy wow i'm not surprised i'm not surprised you guys are coming from the same background that's what i'm hearing okay <laughs> same backstabbing background your family your friends <laughs> okay people that you gave a chance like you just coming from the same you have two tens you have the eight of pentacles and also the eight of cups you have the queen of swords Hmm. I'm seeing like there it's like there's a huge regret here of walking away, but there's no communication. This person haven't changed. This there's a huge regret. I'm also seeing the five of swords. But there is no change. What is the energy for this connection? this energy for Scorpio one card please for Scorpio all right um healing and family issues look at that healing and family issues so it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents I feel like you're trying to break a cycle because listen remember we saw that 10 of 10 you both are coming from a toxic situation from birth. And this is a toxic relationship because I'm, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Some of you could be married. You have the high front here. You want to be back together. This is a future element. This person is a player, but they want to do what they want to do. Because they know that they're not going to find anyone like you within the Empress. There's so many things going on. And look, in the future energy, this person is going to lose control and it's going to create a tower. So the best thing for this person to do is to tell you the truth, okay? And you not to force it. I feel like you need to pray for this energy because this energy, it seems like you guys have some form of contract. And what happens if you don't fulfill a contract is that you're going to have to go back. I'm seeing that the money issue is like they're really trying to work that out with you. Okay, that's what I'm getting as well. Tell me about this five of cups, Holy Spirit, five of cups energy. One card, please, five of cups. Ooh, the nine of wands. <laughs> There was a lot of history between you and this person. And I feel like it's still going on. And I feel like the Nine of Wands, you're still fighting. They're right. They're right about this. So it's like your emotions, <laughs> even though you have the five here, they're saying that you're not ready to move on. Because this explains that as well. This confirms that as well. The Nine is both of you still holding on to this. Even though it's a lot of trials and tribulations, you're still holding on to this. So they're telling the truth here. They're confirming that, honey. So you don't want to move on, no matter what the comment section might be saying right now. It's like you're still fighting. You're still keeping hope alive, even though the hope is very dim with this person's energy. So tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. What is this about? Why is the loss here? Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. No contact. Okay. <laughs> Because this person wasn't around, this person wasn't sacrificing, 
This person didn't care within Pisces. This person ran away from their responsibilities. And they, you guys lost everything. You had to take up the masculine. You had to do everything. You lost your, your way, your dreams for some of you. Because this person wasn't helping you out or taking up other half of the relationship. Like you were doing everything. And you had to put your goals on, on pause. All right. Tell me about the Three of Cups energy. Three of Cups energy, please. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Holy Angels. Angel guides. Thank you. Ancestors. Look at that. So this is love. Someone met someone here. This could have been your friends that they cheated on you with. And they're still together. Oh, wow. They're giving me this Ace of Cups. So whatever was missing between you and this person was love. Not saying that this person doesn't love you, but someone here doesn't know how to show it. There was a lot of manipulation within this relationship emotionally. There was a lot of blame. So this friend or this friend that, that was friend with them or a family member of yours, okay? Um, because they're saying that this is based on love with this three of cups, this shadiness, okay? So it wasn't just the booty call. Yeah, there's an incompletion happening there. So <laughs> this ha I, I feel like this person met this person first. I don't know. I'm just getting that energy because they're getting an incompletion with that. This is something that was meant to happen. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. I just feel like since this person came into your life, you just been having like these bad, <laughs> these bad situations. The Queen of Cups, the Nine. So you gave this person your heart. Um, and all they brought is worry into your life. It's crazy how you are bringing this up because and I'm clarifying that because this person also had the nine somewhere. Yeah, right here. They're stressed out. You're stressed out. And it's crazy how the nine of swords came up twice and the nine of wands. You're both fighting for this relationship. You're both going through the same thing. Then you had the ten of swords. It's just crazy. Okay, what about this emotional manipulation? Emotional manipulation. Wow, the four of swords. This is where the problem, the hiccup started. This is the breakup. Okay, four of swords in reverse. I feel like this is lifted though. But there's no action. There's no movement right now. Okay, this needs to be decided. Tell me about this three of wands. Wow, 1111 energy, queen. So I'm seeing a, a conversation taking place, okay? Whether or not this is going to give you stability, because this came out like this, is iffy. My cat is jumping on the door right now, trying to open up the door with their little paws. But I'm seeing like the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. So this was a loss. But I'm seeing com conversation taking place. Communication coming in. This person is just like... I feel like this person needs to tell you this before it gets out of hand. I feel like they lost all control already. But they need to tell you about this moon energy. I feel like this person might be um, very embarrassed about where they're coming from and i'm seeing like the sun like they think of you as a sun they think of you as a gas station and i'm going to be real about that because when you're showing up as the sun you're showing up as this beautiful smile um when they're around you you know it's light it's different it's fun it's free it's just childlike energy right but if you get serious and start asking questions, they're, you know, they would drain the shit out of you and leave you and make you feel so bad about yourself and lower your energy or your shine. 
and you're already shown up as the empress this motherly figure it doesn't even matter matter if you are a man or a woman it's you know this is who you are in under the court a lot of you need to understand just because you are a man in this life doesn't mean that you were a man in a past life and for the woman out there just because you're a woman in this life doesn't mean you were a woman in a past life you've been many things you know what i mean <laughs> you've been i know i was a man in a past life and i and i am okay with that okay you don't you choose you you choose the the baby you, you know the mother your father you chose everything you have you know uh what do you call it a pre-birth plan okay in heaven all right you decide because your soul decides the experience that you need so of course you're going to choose your father of course you're going to choose your mother you know within this life your soul did not your body but your soul um so when i look at these cards and i see woman or a man on it please don't even think about that because you were for the man out there yeah you were a woman okay you were a woman in a past life okay <laughs> i don't know if you were a player like i was because i was a man i was hurting other people i seen it okay i looked at myself in the mirror okay that <laughs> was a dude that wasn't even good looking y'all i never had muscles oh my gosh if listen all right it is what it is period but this is what i have for you i'm going to end this read and i'm going to you know what let me end it with some spiritual messages um if you guys want to purchase my deck Go ahead and hit me up at the scene tarot at gmail.com. A lot of you are going to my mom's email and asking for decks. And I'm like, what's going on? I know we have similar names on our YouTube uh, on our YouTube channel, but we are totally different emails. So I my email is the scene tarot, the scene tarot. And yeah, just send me an email if you want to purchase the deck. It is $55, $10 shipping, so it's $65 altogether. If you are out of the country, it is going to be $45 extra, okay, for shipping. So it's 55 plus 45, all right, for out of the country, period. Um, so let's see what we have for you. All right, for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, what's the energy? What's the energy for Scorpios? Oh, energy for Scorpios. Energy for Scorpios. Ooh, visions and dreams. I like that. <laughs> so a lot of you are having a call in. Like you feel it, you know it. You're being pulled spiritually. You can explain it. You feel different. There is a lot of jealousy and envy. You guys are getting yellow flowers here. Jealousy and envy. This could be someone that showed compassion or someone that, you know, was a friend or someone that, you know, brought a lot of luck into your life and then it just turned sour. Okay? They play they paid the role to make it seem like they were good for you. They were positive. And then they brought a lot of deception into your life. Wow. Okay? And I I feel like within this card, the, the stars are going to help you out here. I feel like you're having visions and dreams about this situation and what is to come. A lot of you are gifted. You're seeing visions or you're seeing, you know, things are, that are coming towards you for other people within your slumber. Okay. It says deep calling, purpose, and intuition. So listen to your intuition, you guys. Just like in the moon, this is also about your intuition. And I feel like this person, like within the moon, the energy, the, like the angels are saying, like, you know what? It's still time here to kind of change what this is. Because if you think that you know what's going on here, you have no idea if this moon is still in the upright. It is not done. It is not over. Things are going to be on the surface. More things. And I feel like a lot of you are just like, no, it cannot get worse than this. But yeah, it is. And then it has your divine hears you. So a lot of you has been afraid. A lot of you have been praying, trying to manifest prayer, your hopes, your wishes. You are not alone. You are not alone. And you are walking towards another part of your contract. Okay. You're going through a lot of fives here. Deception, envy, lies, jealousy, betrayal, trickery, wearing a mask five of swords energy and there's a lot of endings okay the holy spirit is trying to take away this person out of your life in a positive way so they can learn you can learn because at the end of the day you guys are all 
spiritual beings okay even though this person did so many things to you they're still you know made from the divine god and you have to accept that and they also have angel guides okay and just know within this whatever you are experiencing within the five deception you chose to experience deception within this person's energy and for your higher self so this is what you're experiencing with this person scorpio let's get to it let's talk about it oh, hello let's talk about it so i'm seeing like this is a little bit too much for you so your angel guys are pushing you apart so you can you know focus on yourself all right so this is what the message is tell me more holy spirit for scorpio beautiful souls scorpio beautiful souls and it's crazy because number 13 is your number scorpio within the death it says smile we'll see each other again a lot of you are afraid of this separation and what it might mean and then 10 oh my gosh i feel like a lot of you are going to be brought into a new venture a lot of you could be getting married as well with someone new or even this person that you are still with because the high front is here you know it's like this separation and then coming back together for some of you i'm getting multiple messages here okay i'm also getting and choose me like i said five fifteen three divided is three fives right well well 15 divided into three right so you are choosing a lot of five um vibrations for your soul and of course you're going to be at a low vibration after this so it's more than the deception that you signed up for, okay? You signed up for a lot of fives energy. Something flipped. Only at night, number 17, you get the yellow light. Let me see. It says only at night you get the green light to go, to come, to be together. So this could be someone that is already taken or someone that is stuck. Or someone that is going through some form of separation because you have the ace of pentacles the 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 devil energy like this person is trying to get out of some kind of stuck in vibration this could be toxic vibes that i'm seeing as well a lot of you are getting the coffee energy so i'm also seeing that this was based on sex for some of you at first and temptation um this is becoming a choice but you know what i saw um, I saw earlier that there was a choice, okay? There was a choice that needs to be made between two people. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. I don't know who this is. L listen, this is crazy. Because when I pull these cards, it could be you or this person. All right, this is what I have, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to end it this way. If it resonates, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. If it doesn't resonate, I will have the playlist link below in the description box. Everything about me should be in the bio. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.